You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and it has been a remarkable rise to UFC prominence for Sean Strickland. He has always had the shiny record, but once he found this middleweight division, he took off like an absolute rocket. And even though there are stylistic challenges in this division, especially when it comes to strikers like this, Sean Strickland's undeterred. He believes that he knows how to outlast and break opponents. And he's going to try to not just break his opponent's face tonight, but break his will as well. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh! Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, nice jab. Massive left hand. Good right hand. put his opponent on skates. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Lands that beautiful jab. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Good defense blocking that punch. Nice combination. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find an opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Pineda's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, so Alex Pineda getting it done with his striking as usual, realizing success low with the kicks and certainly up top with the hands. John, whenever you accomplish all that he accomplished in kickboxing, you expect him to be a high-level striker. Oh, the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, nice kick. Big right hand lands. Oh, he hurt him again. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now. And you've got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target. Knowing what he's supposed to do. So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Nice crack there. Oh, that will be a headache in the morning. Massive uppercut. What a fight so far. Heading back to the corner now. Pineda's eye is really looking pretty bad after those five minutes. We'll see what the cut man can do about it. But if he doesn't get the swelling to subside, that eye could swell shut. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks back. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who will and goes down first. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you Just misses with the kick. Well, 
while his opponents seem to be stuck. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. And back to his feet. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, it's, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Pineda's cut on his... So he just decides to get up here and let the offering DC he is hurt. What a beautiful man, there's so much blood on the canvas. Yes, and now the referee steps in to call on the doctor. I think I could actually see his gum line. There's a hole in his cheek. I mean, the cut on the cheek is bad, but it also is the swelling that accompanies that cut that is gonna cause this guy a lot of problems. Yeah, doctor not here to make friends. He has no choice but to stop the fight. We have blood on our notes. <laughs> Goes into the books as a TKO via doctor stoppage. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Sean! All right, so how about this result tonight as we congratulate the new UF...